It may not look like it, but this is my hack switch. And if we go into my system settings, this is vastly out of date. As you can see, I am on version 16.0.3 and the latest one is 18. So I really need to update this. So today I'm gonna to walk you through updating your hack switch. I'm gonna be updating my Sys MMC firmware along with my MU MMC firmware, my CFW and even SIG patches. And we'll be starting off with the Sys MMC. Now, I don't know if this is actually necessary, but I have heard of people having issues with updating with a custom theme. So we're just gonna get rid of that first. So head into your homebrew menu and your NX theme installer. Scroll down to uninstall theme and hit uninstall everything. Yes and okay. And don't worry, you can get this theme back later on after we update. But once you're good, you can press quit and you can just head back into your homebrew menu. Go to reboot to payload, press minus and it should bring you back to your atmosphere. And then once you're back here, we're gonna go into tools and then go into USB tools and then connect your switch to your PC. SD card. And there we go. Now our PC is detecting our switch SD card. We can set this down and I'll meet you back on my PC. So now that we can see our switch SD card and transfer files onto it, we can go to this Google doc, which is linked down below. And here has all of the links. Now I will be following the official guide. So let's head over there now. And I will say that it is always, always best to follow the written guide, especially for switch modding. However, you can use a video as a reference if you need. So that's what I'm here for. And if you're going through this and there's a discrepancy between the official guide and the video, always make sure to follow the written one first. But let's get started. So scrolling through, we're gonna update Atmosphere. We're gonna update Hakate and update our firmware. And if you stick past that and you have MUMMC, you can scroll down and we will, will also be updating our MUMMC. So let's get started with the downloads. Scroll down under updating atmosphere, go to number three and click on atmosphere. This will take us to the GitHub page. You can read through these notes, but it's always good to check. Support was added for 18.1.0. That's good. So if you're doing this guide in the future for a different update, please make sure that support is added for the update you are going towards. But once you make sure it is supported, you can scroll down and grab the zip file right here. Click it to download, exit that page, and the guide does it separately, but we're gonna update Hakate at the same time. So scroll down and on number three, click on Hakate. It'll take us to this page. Same thing as the other one. Just check the release notes. The main thing we're looking for is the latest uh, software supported, 18.1.0. That's good. That's what we're updating. Scroll down and grab the latest version, the zip file at the top. Download that. Exit the page. And we're good for the downloads. Uh, if you are looking to update your MUMMC, I will be doing that later in the video. But I'll be starting off with the Sys MMC. So let's open up our downloads and our SD card for our switch. Open up the Atmosphere zip file. You will need an extraction software like 7-Zip or WinRAR. Highlight all of these and drag them onto the root of your SD card. Hit replace the files in the destination and we're good. We can exit that and delete it from our computer. Next up, we're gonna open up the Hakate zip file. And we're just going to grab this bootloader folder and drag it onto the root of your SD card and hit replace the files in the destination. We are good with that. We can exit the zip and exit, sorry, delete the zip file. Keeps our PC a little bit more organized. And now we are ready to update our firmware. So now we can hit eject on our SD card and over on our switch. You should see disk ejected. Press close, press B and go back to the home and click reload click reload again and it should reload your hikate and you are good to go now we can launch our sys mmc remember we are not doing mu mmc right now that is later so let's load up our sys mmc and update our firmware also can unplug that load it up so now our cfw is updated let's head into the system settings and update 
our system settings. So 16, that's no good. <laughs> so we're just gonna click system update. It is safe to do so now. Update, update. And of course you do need to be connected to the internet for this. And if you're not doing anything shady on your switch, you have nothing to worry about. And well, you probably shouldn't be doing anything risky on your sys MMC, that should all be done on your MU MMC, just to be safe. But if you aren't doing anything shady or illegal on your switch, you don't have to worry about blocking Nintendo servers because well, they're not gonna go after you if you're not doing anything bad. And update complete and your console will restart. So now that's launched back in your sys MMC. Let's load in, go into our system settings. And as you can see, we are on 18.1.0. We are good to go. So if all you use is your sys MMC, you are good to go. But if you do have an MU MMC, let's head back into, let's back into the homebrew menu, reboot to payload, minus, and we're back in. We're gonna go back into tools, USB tools, and we're gonna do the same thing. Click on SD card and plug in your Type-C USB and onto the computer. And back on the guide, it just explains that SysMMC and MUMMC have separate system firmwares and need to be updated separately. And going down, it tells you you need to dump your SysMMC firmware, but I have a much quicker method. So let's head back to the Google Doc and we can go to this firmware link, click on it, and here is all the latest firmware. So it basically just skips the step. So grab the matching firmware that we just installed, 18.1.0. If you're doing this in the future, it might be newer, but just hit download. It'll take us to a page, click download on the mega site. Shouldn't take too long. It's only a third of a gigabyte. Once it's completed, exit out and since the MUMMC is usually used for well things that were not intended by Nintendo I'll also show you how to update other factors involved in your modding so mission control and sig patches so next up is mission control go to this page scroll down and grab the top zip file once it downloads exit that and next up is sig patches you get this lovely art but we're just gonna grab this download sig patches once it downloads we can say goodbye to these weird cat ladies <laughs> and now we are good to go for those downloads open up our switch sd put it on the right and downloads are back on the left and we're going to open up firmware 18.1.0 and if there is a folder with the name of the firmware all you have to do is drag it onto the root of your sd card but because ours looks like this we need to create that folder on our SD card. So let's create a new one. And all we're gonna do is call it firmware and then whichever firmware it is. In my case, it's 18.1.0, press enter. And now we are going to click the top file here, scroll all the way down to the bottom, make sure you go all the way, hold shift and click. It should highlight everything, drag it into that folder and it's on we can exit here and delete it open up mission control and we're just going to highlight both of these folders and drag it onto the root that was quick we can exit and delete lastly sig patches open it up highlight all the folders inside and drag it onto your sd card and hit replace if it is prompted you can exit and delete and now we are good to go we can hit eject and head back onto our switch Disk is ejected, hit close, we can unplug, press B, go back to your home, hit launch, and you can load up your MUMMC. So once you're loaded in, we are going to load into the homebrew menu. And now you should see Daybreak, load it up, and hit install. And here we're just going to find our firmware folder. And you can just hit A. It will just quickly verify the update. Hit continue, hit preserve settings, and hit install FAT32 plus XFAT. And then hit continue. And that was actually really quick. So just hit reboot. 
And then from here, you can launch back into your MU MMC and it should be updated. But there we go guys, my switch is now updated and ready to go. Hopefully you were able to use this video as a reference to the guide. And if you want more switch videos in the future, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Stay funky and happy modding.